What is going on YouTube? This is NCAP24 and today we're back with another play out of the single back doubles formation scheme that we're doing out of the Denver Broncos playbook. Yesterday we dropped a video in which we showed you how powerful the PA flow play is as a nice base throw play to this entire scheme that you didn't have to make any adjustments to it and just did a great job of just torching all coverages. There was one coverage however that played it the best and that was the cover four and when you base the line pressed and played your um, underneath coverage. Now what we want to do for that is we want to give you a option on this video of showing how you could torch that specific defense in order to say, you know what, if they're in that defense, I can go to this setup using the same play and have some great success. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that and show you exactly how we're doing it. So for this play, guys, we're going to make sure the defense is in that baseline pressed and we're going to put them on those underneath coverage, right? And you're going to notice that the Cornerback on the left-hand side is to the left of Julio Jones. What we're going to do is we're going to put Julio Jones on a streak, and we're going to motion this wide receiver to the left. What that's going to do is it's going to put Julio on the left side of that cornerback. He's going to have a nice ability to get a straight line path unbumped down the field. Because of the play action and because of the way your DBs react in the positioning that they're in, he is actually going to turn up the field and get closer to the inside of the field. And then he's got to play from a retreat standpoint in order to get to the X receiver. Okay, so let me show you on this example what happens. And then we'll go, go and show you some different examples where we're going to switch up the personnel to really show you the mechanics of the DB is the factor, not the speed correlation of DB versus wide receiver. So let's go take a look. We're going to go ahead, carry out the fake. You're going to see the X is going to get down the field. We're going to be able to bomb it, rack catch it for the nice, easy one play score. Now, the correlation between Julio Jones and Shaquille Griffin is that Julio Jones has 94 speed, Shaquille Griffin has 92. We should expect to win this because of speed on speed. But that's not the factor that is really making this work, and I'm going to kind of prove it to you as we go in this video. What you're going to see here is that Shaquille Griffin is going to keep his eyes in the backfield. He needs to know if it's going to be run or pass, right? So we're looking here. He's not going to turn and go down the field until he realizes that it's now play action is no longer um, going to be a run threat. He's going to turn up the field, and you're going to see when he turns up the field, he's actually going to be about two yards to the inside of Julio Jones, right? Well, when he runs down the field, he's got to fade towards Julio. See how he's fading towards Julio right now? Well, when he's doing that, we're actually getting him to not run a straight line and we're getting more separation all right it's gonna be hard for me to kind of keep up with this here but we'll show you here see how we're getting more separation as we go and you can see how we're going to be able to just torch him over the top for the one play score this is 94 to 92 we got a plus two speed all right so let's go ahead and change out our depth chart um actually we'll just go out of this and we'll just do wide receiver flip all right i'm going to put muhammad sanu in that position and what we'll do in that case is basically show you that Muhammad Sunu is a 88 speed. So now Shaquille Griffin's got a 4 plus speed ratio. So he should be able to keep up with him, right? Let's go take a look at it. So let's get to cover 4 and take a look. So we're going to do the same thing by base aligning and pressing. And I'll put them in um, underneath coverage just to make sure everything exactly the same. I'll put X on a streak. Take this Y receiver. Motion him to the left-hand side. And now Sunu is on the left side of the cornerback. Now, again, Sanu is 88 speed versus Shaquille Griffin, who's 92. We're going to carry out the fake. I do like to get a little bit to the left, just to kind of throw my angle down a little bit. Throw this ball over the top, rack catch it, and you're going to see that he was able to get a step on him, even though that he was four speed less when it comes to it. Let me show you again an instant replay, the why behind it. Okay, again, what you're going to see here is that Shaquille Griffin is going to basically go ahead. He's going to open up his hips as soon as he knows that it's not a run. And you can see how wide he gets, okay? There's, again, a two-yard separation where he's in the inside. He's got to go ahead and make that up by drifting towards him. So I'm going to try to stay with these players as they go. And see, as he's drifting, Sunu is actually going to get a little bit more separation as he goes. And you're going to be able to throw it to him. Now, it's four speed less, and he still was able to burn him. Now, you could say, you know what, maybe it's because... Um, Shaquille Griffin doesn't have the right play rec, whatnot. So what I'll do is I'm going to go switch up the cornerbacks this time. 
where I'm going to put um, Richard Sherman over there to where um, he's going to be the player that's going to cover him up. Now, Richard Sherman's got 91 speed, and he's going to have a lot, uh, over 90 play rec. So we're going to do it this way to where, let me go ahead and I'm going to do packages where I'm flipping the quarterback swap. So now you're going against a player that has got three more speed than Sanu, but also has the ability to have a little bit higher play rec awareness. Um, his zone's still going to be the 91 that I put him at, so you're going to still have that same deal, but you're going to see that uh, we're going against a more aware um, quarterback. So let's go take a look at it now. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to baseline press. We're going to put him in hard flats to make sure we keep everything consistent. Put X on a streak and move Gabriel over. Now, again, this is 88 speed Sanu versus 91 speed Sherman. But Sherman's got the 91 play rec. He's got um, above 90 awareness. What we're trying to do is take out the factor that the play action did something to kill Griffin that... Um, maybe he's just not as, as smart of a quarterback. So we want him to go against, you know, a higher speed guy with more intelligence and seeing how it works, right? So here we go. We're going to carry out the fake. We're going to see that the X is going to get down the field. And we're going to be able to bullet him over the top and still get that one step advantage over him. And it's the same reason why, because of the path in which the cornerback has to take when we get this player out wide. Just because you're out wide and when they're baseline pressed, so if anybody is trying to go to a cover four to stop your original setup, you can go to this and torture him over the top. So again, you're going to see that he turns. And when he turns, he still goes to the outside. See, I mean, actually, he's the inside. And you can see that we have that uh, uh, cushion between the two. He's got a fade towards him. And when he fades, and when the ball is in the air, it seems to take away the speed um, advantage to Sherman because actually Sunu is kind of cutting him off. See how that works? And he's able to get in front and catch this ball for the one play score. So we just want to go ahead and kind of scheme those two plays together for you guys. We wanted to show you such a powerful play on the video yesterday. And then on today's video, we wanted to make sure that we kind of showed you, you know what? If they do what they can do to slow down your previous play, we want to give you another option to go ahead and say, you know what? I'm actually wanting that to happen so I can torch you over the top. So if you do like this video and you like the way we kind of put the two together for you, please hit that like button for us. It does go a long way. And we'll see you on tomorrow's video. Thank you, guys.